What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And someone's ringing the bell. No bells. Um, in the last episode, we, um, what did we do? Oh, we formed an alliance with Gijich, who was, uh, who was the, uh, main person we were talking to in Oxenifashire. Um, we took out Lady Edwin, who was causing him trouble, and we made him, I think, the king of, uh, Oxenifashire. Um, while we were in Oxen of Shire, we ran into some, someone named Folke. Folke said that she saw a, uh, something known as the Saga Stone. And in the Saga Stone, it depicted um, certain markings on the stone. And a certain language on the stone as well. And that language, uh, surprisingly, Sigurd was able to read. So, Folke took us to... To the saga stone so we could see what was on it uh and it was from a dead language and that language was an isu language um now sigurd himself was able to decipher it in a way he wasn't able to figure out exactly what it said he said that uh, the message seemed kind of foggy to him but he was able to understand it um so that kind of uh, gives off the hint that sigurd is um half Isu, or half God, or whatever you want to interpret it. Um, we also, we, um, we, after we, uh, took out Lady Edwin, um, King Alfred, uh, attacked the, uh, fort that Edwin was hiding at while we were there, and, uh, he, what did he do? So he attacked the fort that we were in, and Sigurd, Bassam, and Eivor went to speak with him. And at that moment, Folke uh, stopped by, and she explained to King Alfred that uh, um, that Sigurd is technically part god. So right now, Alfred has Sigurd. Well, technically, Folke has Sigurd, because uh, uh, Folke betrayed us, told, told King Alfred who Sigurd truly is, and now has him captive. Uh, we asked Bassem to try and find a lead on uh, on Sigurd and, and Falke, Falke. Uh So, right, we're going to have to wait for that message from Bassem. So, he'd be like, hey, guys, I got a clue about where you could be, so we're going to have to worry about that later. But what I did, did find out, no, we did, what I didn't find out, um, what we did find out was, uh, Falke is actually a member of the Order of Ancients, and she figures that they would have a use of a man like Sigurd. So, we're gonna have to, uh, rescue Sigurd at some point, but we're still waiting on that message from Basim. But until then, we have other territories that we need to form alliances with. One of which is uh, this place here called Shrubshire. Uh, Shrubshire. Um, what the main story arc here in Shrubshire is, we have to. Um, ow. We have to meet with Chailbert because he left Ravensthorpe to come to Shrubshire. But uh, we don't know why he's here. All we know is that he came here and that he's also here with Ivor the Boneless. So we're going to have to meet with Ivor and Chilbert in this episode. But right now I'm just taking out thugs and doing a few raids. Ooh. I was supposed to kill you real quick, man. I didn't even know who you were. Headshot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, hang on a second. Are you kidding me? That was crap. Oh, screw screw that, man. That was garbage. That should have gone straight through the damn friggin' wall. That's dumb. Alright, where is the uh, stuff that I'm looking for? Something behind here. 
more crafting materials. I mean, those are always good. Oh, and some fabric, too. That's actually going to be really helpful. What the hell do you want, man? Take an arrow in your face. Oh, I shot you clean in the eye. Oh, my God. It's one of these idiots. I hate the guys with the freaking daggers because they freaking dodge all my attacks, and it's so annoying. Come on, hit me again. There we go. Like, like, these guys always dodge my attacks, and it makes it impossible for me to fight them. It's freaking stupid. Um, my god, there is so much stuff here. What a dummy. Just catches catches this arrow and fires it right back at his face. Get destroyed. No, that's not what I wanted, Avor, but if you want to jump down like a friggin' idiot, be my guest. <sighs> I still have to find that uh, piece of gear. I don't know what it is. It's probably like a Probably like a face mask or something, or some bracers. There's probably nothing, anything, not even anything good. But I'd rather have it now instead of regretting it later. But how do I get to it? That's the question. Clearly underground somewhere. I hope I don't need a key to unlock this. Wait. Yep, I called it. It's just a helmet. A uh, brigan br brigadine hel brigadine helmets. I don't know. All right then. Before we speak to Chailbert, we'll uh, get that synchronization point. Because we are in a new territory, and if I can fast travel back here, then that will, will make it just that much easier. Synchronization point is just up the mountain here. There it is. 
What is that place anyway? I guess it's just some kind of temple. Maybe it's haunted by ghosts. Yo, Scooby Doo Assassin's Creed Creed crossover. Like Zoink Scoob, we're about to be chased by monsters. Goodbye, <laughs> ghosts. Yeah, we're about to be chased by Ezio Auditore. That would be terrifying. If you freaking just see Ezio just chasing behind you, oh boy, you are screwed. Need Avor to cooperate with me. And he seems to be doing, doing, doing so, which I like. But we're also really close to uh, Chelbert as well, so it won't take that long. Ah, oh, the moon in the background there looks really cool. You know what I find really crazy about the Vikings is that you were never really able to kind of really know what was happening to your parents. Like your parents could just be like, "Bye, honey, we're going on a raid. We'll, we'll be back in two weeks," and like you would never know if they would actually return. That'll be completely terrifying and really unnerving. Like he, you just like your dad, just dad or mother, whether it was a shield maiden or a full-on male Viking warrior or something like that. But like, they would just go on like raids, and you have no idea if they would return. That's ridiculous. All right, here we are. Let me guess, everyone wants to kill me? No. Well, that's, that's a first. Usually whenever I come to a new city, everyone wants to friggin' chop my head off. Ooh, I see drinking contests, and there's a fighting match behind me. I want to do those. Or at least in the uh, same, same encampment that uh, Chilbert is in. That's good. Look at this well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Koran deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I'm ready to duel. It's time to du -du 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 duel. My pet, now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. You look more like a coward, you're trembling, weak and waxen. You look more like a coward, you're trembling, weak and waxen. Weak! Pathetically weak! Me? Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you! You're not much of a man, but you're a brave little shrew. If you had any wisdom, you would f test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. I, I don't know. You're not much of a man, but you're a brave little shrew. Weakness! Utter weakness! Crap, am I failing? Let's dispense with these poems and... I think I, I think I just lost. I'll feed you both my fish, and you'll have to... It's a fighting you want, I shall take you. If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. Ha! Another weak crap underfoot. Great. That's stupid. 
Yeah, I just lost like a bunch of money, didn't I? Fucking fantastic. Have you gathered your courage? Kiss my ass, you fucking scarred fighting. bastard. I am ready. My just bet. bet. I am feared by all. At least they use the same things. And your thick little skulls fit stronger than I thought. Good. Oh, you think you can scare? You're not much of a man. Test, test your mind against me, and we'll see what the hell you test do. Test your might against my. How dare you! Let's dispense with these pulp. I'll feed you, but then you'll have to eat crow. What? I'll feed you. Weak, weak. You think you're good with words, eh? I will have my winnings. Earn them. Good. Oh shit! Really? So we're doing it this way, okay. I mean, I could have just taken my winnings, but you wanted to freaking fight, so I'll just drop kick your ass and then stomp your head into the ground. Enough! You've proven yourself. Now give me my money. I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. Give me my money or I'll kill you right now. Good. Wait, what? So by doing that, I just got a clue f about an Order of Ancients member. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, oh. Cast about this land, my friend. Chilbert is up in the longhouse. Just where I plan to go for the drinking contest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to stop by that, uh, that shop real quick. Sell any weapons I have. And... Maybe buy some crafting materials. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. Hello and welcome. Hmm. Oh. I don't have anything to sell. This could be Uh hang on. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I should have more money right now. Wise of you to stock up. I, I don't know. You never know when this might come in handy. Alright, so that, and get rid of that, and that. I'm very tempted to sell all this stuff, even though it could be used to purchase ruins at the hunting shop in Ravensthorpe. Although it would provide a lot of good money. Take a good swing at you, eh? Well, who wants to fight? I'll take a good swing right at you. Oh my god. Everyone's always getting in my way. Alright, let's get, uh... Let's get Eivor absolutely shit-faced, and then we'll go talk to Chilbert. I'm a guess... Oh, hey, there's actually, uh... Some gear nearby as well. Yep, it's you. All right. Just skip all this pointless babble. 
curse this it's drinking to me, John! Yeah, I'm a guess. With me. Four rounds. Yes. Nope, that's five. Yep, five. Shit. Come on, hurry, Eivor. Oh, buddy's already stumbling. Oh, now so am I. Crap, he might beat me, actually. If he does, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, we're kind of like right neck and neck. I can't mess up now. Both on our last drink. Yes, I just got it too. Nice. Victory drinks. Drink up, Avor. Hey, I see you, Chailbert. Give me a second, buddy. Got uh, something else to do. I want whatever that gear is. Where is it? Oh, it's underground. Man. Uh, I mean, there's a tunnel or set of stairs that lead to it, hopefully. Uh, man. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know. Have a look, Sunan. Yep, it's right down there, isn't it? And that's too far. Jump. Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna die. I mean, it's still too far of a jump, and I kind of overshot it. No, wait. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Let's blow up the wall. Hey! Yeah, who cares about fire? What the shit? Where is this taking me? God damn it, Eivor. I get that you're a little drunk right now, but you gotta push forward, bro. Better be something interesting in here. Nope. Just a different cape. Just a bunch of other pointless crap. What the hell is this place, though? Some weird freaking tomb. Alright, so let's go talk to Jailbert now. I did everything that I wanted to right now. The only problem is that I'm going to have to climb up this big-ass mountain again. There you go. Come on, leap. Push up, man. Onward and upward. There you go. Nice. Young Jailbert. You alive? Did Ivar kill you already? Come on, boy. Oh, seems like he's about to do that right now. You wouldn't stop a lamb. Come on. I hurt my shoulder. Oh, he hurt his shoulder. <laughs> suplex. Kidding, that wasn't a suplex. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? 
The venerable King Rodri is here. I'm to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shurupshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It's a weighty, weighty title. Don't get ahead of yourself. Watch out for Ivar. Yeah. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Chelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. Yep. As future elderman, you should speak to the talks as well. But with humility, Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met <laughs> okay. Him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. I think Ivar's gonna cause some trouble. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As King Kill. They do not all get to wail. Yeah, of course. I was just trying to follow the road, but uh, apparently those guys want to go off track. Because the road was telling me to go that way, but you know. Who cares what the road says? Then of course these idiots have to freaking see me. Anyone else? Hmm? Don't be shy. Okay. Now clearly, it's not going to fall the road, so I have to stay close by, directly to them. Back to what I was saying. As king killer, they do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. Our Bishop Dayalov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dayalov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. But, sure. I'll indulge the fantasy for now. Captain Anil. Explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. you speak with Chailbirds, it's right to challenge you. We're here for peace. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. 
Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Okay, um... Hmm. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Alderman yet. So... Bishop Dalorf... Dalorf? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Why are you crouching? I'm not hurting you. Oh my god. But Bishop Dalorf... Dale... Dale... I'm just gonna call him Bishop Delof. Bishop Delof gave us um, some money. Now we have to decide who gets yes. it, I guess. One of his advices. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier. Soldier, I don't know how to say your name. He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. Mm. You are a wise warrior. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Okay, jeez, no need to be so rude. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. What about you, Eivor? Eivor! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. What are you doing, man? You're like crouched around, like, uh, uh, what's going on? Uh. If there's what are you any doing? Silver to be had, how you do that. I'm not gonna give it to you. Are you freaking crazy? You silver before me. Who are you? Uh, oh, that's uh. You are good yet, are you not? Yeah. Brother to King Rotary. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to... Under what terms? Knock a rotary from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shirapsha and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Um. So for the two people who intrigue me most by it are Rodri's advisor and his brother. But both of them kind of are slightly on Rodri's side. I mean, his advice would be like, hey, we advise for peace, or hey, we advise for war, I don't really know. Um, I feel like his brother's probably the best option. Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. There is an option for you to keep the money for yourself, but... Uh, I should report what I know to Bishop Dale. But I'm not going to. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. 
Eivor, my friend. I'm not your friend. Go away. Have you come to a decision? Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Ivar, no. now. Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Crap. Guriad! <laughs> Shit, I did that wrong. By God Almighty, I'll get him to safety. Go quick. I mean, I think Eva was going to kill his brother, but I, I guess I just mixed it up. Oh well, I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Who threw the axe at me? That was someone on my side who threw an axe at me. What was that? That was so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is driving me nuts. Oh shit, Chilbert's getting shredded. Everyone is just getting shredded. Evar's fault. Screw Evar. Oh my god, that guy just got pounded. We've and got that guy got chopped away. I should have given it to Rodri's advisor. But I guess either way it wouldn't have mattered. Now that is Viking Earth diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Evar, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Well, at least I got the money back. Silver now. Might as well take it. He has no use for it. Alright. We're gonna have to fight Rodri's men. God. There's too many right now. There we go. My God. Evar, get out of my way, you freaking idiot. I'm trying to... There we go. Oh my god. This is just ridiculous. Stomp you out. Toss a couple axes at you guys. Smack you to oblivion. Chop you straight to hell. Just smack you. Just friggin' beat the ever loving crap right out of you, bud. Oh, there's another one. All the way over there. There he is. Just hold still. Thank you. The river? The river? Oh my god, this guy, Rodri, maybe Ivar was right. Rodri can't be negotiated with. Oh, 
Hmm. Oh my god, yeah, they're all in the river there. Got them. If we must. I was just trying to uh, use the arrow ability to take out as many as I can right now. Too easy, Avor says, huh? Well, I disagree with you, buddy. Ow. Off with his head. Off with his head. Same done to you, 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 oh god, yep. This is a full-on battle in the water, let's go. Just keep chucking axes everywhere. Do it again. Smack him up some more. Oh, sorry, Chailbirds. Didn't mean to hit you there. Good God, what carnage. We must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. Limbs and heads all over the place. Won the battle, but the war is not over. You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You're wrong. Well, it just doesn't really matter anyway. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well... For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, A4. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Alright, well we're going to have to do all those missions in the next episode. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like my content, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I'm uploading next. And if you know anyone that uh, may enjoy Assassin's Creed or may enjoy my content, well, you know, share, share it with them, you know, share their the love. Tell them to subscribe. And while you're at it, take a look at some of the other videos I have on my channel. There's many Assassin's Creed videos, and there's plenty of other Let's Plays on my channel for you to enjoy. Once again, I'll say thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.